Okay, today on DIY with Dave D, we're gonna do something a little different. Here we have a piece of furniture that we're gonna refinish and modify per the client's request. Um, you know, there's the standard scratches on the finish, discoloration scratches more scratches it's very old uh, there's flecks of white paint at various spots and uh, she wants me to take this out make it an open space the piece was originally a record player the controller 1906 so that makes it what, 116 years old yeah so very old and as such things happen client also wants me to remove this which we were kind of confused by at first, but we kind of concluded that it is actually a primitive speaker of sorts. Because it looks like there's a chute in the back that goes up to the top. Um, client wants me to basically turn it from a record player into a table with cupboards and whatnot. I checked the legs, they seem to all be secured. There's a slight crack above this hinge. Uh, but other than that, the problems with it are primarily cosmetic. And now, well, like I said, we'll start by taking out the record player stuff. Here, twist this to see what's going on, and one hundred and sixteen years later, that guy's still spinning. There was a uh, marking on part of the machine that said nineteen o six. I initially assumed that that was the production date. However, upon, upon further investigation I discovered that 1906 was the patent date and that this particular model was manufactured 1923 to 1924. Other markings uh, indicated that it was 1923. So any reference to 1906 or 116 years old is inaccurate. Here we go. Record player. Record shelves. Speaker. All that is gone. 
Yeah, I really can't get a better angle. Um, very windy out today. So if I put the tripod outside the garage, it will blow over in exactly 30 seconds, if that. I plan on seeing to it that uh, the record player part finds its way to a, a good home. Uh, I'm sure there's somebody out there who appreciates 1906 record players. And I can move on to uh, cleaning, watch some uh, furniture flipping videos last night, and this uh, crud cutter thing seemed to be popular. I removed the divider between where the record shelves used to be and where the speaker used to be, according to the client's request. I need to fill uh, a gap, or two gaps on the inside. Um, they're on the inside. The wood around it is stained plywood. So, uh, perfect match in this situation does not really matter. What matters is that the color is pretty close. Green pattern, not a huge deal. Um, so, yeah. I'm gonna plane this down to quarter inch. Okay, let's get going. thick and then I need to take basically down to quarter inch wide uh, one quarter inch wide and then one just under a quarter inch wide so table saw for that okay need to take this down Okay, I got this really tiny stand, so I can maybe get a better view of what I'm doing on the camera. I definitely should have started with 80 instead of 100. The client wants where the record player used to be, 
to have a bottom um, so in order to keep similarly aged wood and similar finish I'm going to repurpose the record shelves that she wanted me to get rid of We've got um, I'm gonna joint uh, along the grain of those. And then I've got some offcuts from the uh, posts of Chateau de Fluffy. Um, I'm gonna use them to create, I guess, a base, and then that is gonna be the surface. Okay, let's do this. new tripod gives a little bird's eye view. Iron night, I glued up those boards that I milled yesterday. And uh, I glued these into pairs. They're an eighth of an inch thick and the glue's at the end grain, so it's about as sturdy as a rubber band in terms of holding it together. But I just need to kind of stationary until I form it into a single panel and attach it to this.
the route channels where the dowels <clears throat> were. Okay, got the base. Uh, there's gonna be some on top of it, so it doesn't matter that it's ugly. You got the little channels where the dowel is or are. Oops. Okay, and then I put the older wood on top of that. There are two holes. One is approximately 0 0.70 inches in diameter. The other is approximately it was 0 0.60, uh, which are odd measurements. So instead of being lazy and just drilling a half inch and a 5 8 inch uh, plug and then putting around it, I'm going to try to make my own that fit uh, using a tool that uh, I haven't really gotten to use in jeez, a year and a half. Alright, let's see how this goes. Uh, this is a uh, an off cut from another one of the 2x4s. What we have here is the 0.6 diameter dowel. The 0.7 comes up there. Now, obviously, that would stick out like a sore thumb. Ugh. Ow. may not look it, but uh, these are similar types of wood. So I'm going to put this on here, and then I'm going to try to match the coloring with the surroundings. I've got my hand screw. I'm not sure why, but I put two two layers of veneer on top of the plug. I sealed the end grain with the shellac because it's end grain and it would just suck up all the glue anyway. Um, and uh, we'll see how that works. Two layers may be counterproductive, but I don't know what I'm doing, so I'll find out as I go along. I just wanted to make sure that under no circumstance did I sand through it. We've had issues with the feet. The feet, when it arrived, had these little plastic things on. Uh, two of them fell off relatively quickly. Uh, underneath them are these little metal things. Metal feet. Um, this one was missing. Uh, and after I took the, uh, record player out, 
uh, one of the legs was uneven. I suspect that the weight of the record player was just enough to keep it in position, but then when it got half as heavy, uh, got a little bit of unevenness, so I got uh, these adjustable legs. Put them in there, and then everything can be even no matter what. to trim that but you get the point yeah, I bought a pry bar from Harbor Freight and it snapped in half can't expect much for three bucks There are these holes in the bottom. I'm not sure exactly what purpose they served. They're a quarter inch wide. So I have some fluted dowels. veneer. So I need to glue that down. Here, got some chipping, got some chipping. I think I saw chipping on another one of the legs, but I forget where. Uh, I'll give it a look over. Um, and here, apparently when they drilled through for the crank, they chipped out the, uh, the veneer. And uh, because it was concealed by the speaker and the record player, they didn't need to fix it. Now it's on the inside, so nobody's gonna see it, but I am gonna know it's there and I'm gonna fix it. And then, you know, this is all other just various junk that they left on. Uh, here we go. March 15th. 1923. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna get wood glue in under there. I don't have a syringe. It's the underside, so it's not gonna be any real stress on it, so I'm just gonna put some CA. Thank you for watching the DIY with Dave D YouTube channel. This is part one of my project, renovating a 1923 Vitrola. I will post part number two when I have it ready. 
uh, part number two will primarily be, you know, applying the finish. So stay tuned and subscribe if you're interested.